A cousin of mine was walking around in Puma sports shoes and with all the snow, the soles of both the shoes came off. What you need are boots that go well above your ankles. If you can find ones that are snow and waterproof, then it would be a cherry on the top. You can knot your boots tightly, then pull your jeans on top of it to make sure that snow won't enter inside. Renting snow boots in Gulmarg If you don't have boots that can survive the trip and you also don't want to buy them just for the trip, then worry not. Snow boots are available for rent in Gulmarg itself. You can reach Gulmarg and get these here for 250 rupees per day per pair. They will quote you 500 rupees per day but you can easily negotiate down to 200 rupees. Once you arrive in Tangmarg, they will try to fool you into believing that there are no boots available for rent in Gulmarg which is not true. Ignore these so-called guides and rent in Gulmarg itself. The only time you would want to rent these boots in Tangmarg is if you were making only a day trip to Gulmarg and intended to return a few hours later. In that case, you can rent the boots as well from Tangmarg when you hire a private taxi. I myself went there in Provo boots and they survived the trip fine. My cousin was wearing sports shoes and they just kept getting wet in the snow before the soles came off entirely. Where to stay? Gulmarg remains to be a major tourist attraction in the winter season as well for which all hotels here remain open and functional. One thing that you should however remember is that there is no budget hotel as such in Gulmarg. The price goes even higher up during the winter season. Expect the average minimum price to be around 2000 rupees to 2500 rupees per day. If you do not want to spend that kind of money, then a better way would be to stay in Srinagar city and make the visit to Gulmarg the day affair. Start early in the morning from Srinagar, arrive at Gulmarg by 10 am, spend a couple of hours and be on your way back after having lunch here. Hotels in Gulmarg during winter All hotels here are very well equipped to handle the freezing temperatures outside. There will be three types of heaters in the room. The first one is a big permanent heater installed in a corner of the room. The second is a heater in your bed. It is installed inside the bed and will warm up the mattress. The third one is a blower kind of thing that throws out warm air after getting plugged in. With so many heaters, your stay will be very warm. To be honest, once you are inside the room, you will just be wearing a light sweater no matter how cold it gets outside. In terms of food, you can either order from a hotel only which would be convenient. Or you can step out and eat at any of the local restaurants in the small market area. Places to visit in Gulmarg in winter Snow-covered meadows and live snowfall is the first thing that you would want to see in Gulmarg in the winter season. The natural beauty of the snow with several feet of snow all around is something that you will cherish for days. Apart from the snow, all tourist areas in Gulmarg remain accessible in the winter season. Places like St. Maria's Church, Maharani Temple and Golf Course will be open for tourists. Gondola ride and trek to Alpada Lake however entirely depends on the weather. Gondola rides may get cancelled on some days when the weather was not favorable. Trekking to Alpada Lake entirely depends on whether or not gondola to face to is available and how much snow is there on the ground. To be on the safer side though, if you want to visit Alpada Lake, then better take a guide from Gulmarg and do not attempt it on your own. Tourist attractions in Gulmarg are as mentioned below. Gulmar Gondola Alpada Lake Afarwat Peak Maharani Temple Gulmar Golf Course St. Maria's Church Maharaja Palace Children's Park Strawberry Valley Baba Reshi Khilanmarg Ningal Nala and Ferozpur Nala Bota Patri 
Things to do in Gulmarg in winter. Apart from enjoying the natural beauty of the place and spending some time in peace, you can indulge yourself in some winter sports, of which skiing is the major one. Just take a walk around and you will have plenty of guides asking you to try your hand at skiing. Their rates are however quite high. For half an hour of skiing, you will be paying 1100 rupees. For one hour, you will be asked to pay 2000 rupees. A ride on snow scooters and a wooden sled are two other popular activities in winter. The last time I was in Gulmarg in winter, I also saw a zorbing ball there so you can try your hand at that as well. Gondola ride, which is the biggest attraction of Gulmarg, and trekking are two other things to do in Gulmarg. A trek to Alpada Lake from Gondola Face to Station is the shortest one. If you are in for more adventure and are physically fit, then you can trek to the lake all the way from Gulmarg itself. There are in fact several other trek routes from Gulmarg if you had the time.